Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a stored procedure in SQL. So first, let's go over what a stored procedure is. So a stored procedure is pretty much a saved SQL code or query that you can use over and over again. So first, I'm just going to show you like a simple stored procedure. So just the syntax and everything. So you know how to declare and use a stored procedure. So you know how to use a stored procedure. So in this example, I'm just selecting from this table called employees. So one of the ways I can use a stored procedure is I can simply return the values from a query. Okay, so in this example, I'm just selecting from this table called employees. So now I'm gonna create my first stored procedure. Procedure and then the procedure name. I'm just gonna call it get underscore EMP as begin and then end and between begin and end is where you write your SQL code so the first one I'm just gonna select everything from the table again so I'm just gonna say select all from employees okay so this is the syntax for a basic store procedure and I'm just gonna execute this now execute it okay so we just created our first store procedure and to call the store procedure or to run the store procedure here's the syntax for it I'm just gonna say execute and then the procedure name so the procedure name is get underscore EMP so let's run it now so when, when I execute this I'm gonna get the same result as, as our select all from employees because that's the code within it but we have saved this code so we can just rerun this every time we want whether it's in reporting or any other tool we can just reuse it so in this first example i just created a very basic store procedure with no input parameters but we can also create a store procedure with input parameters so let me just now copy this again and i'm going to create another store procedure i'm just going to call it do since get employee is already taken and then here i'm going to declare our input parameters so i'm just going to say add id and then this is our parameter name and then the type the data type of it so let's just say it's an integer and then i'm gonna create another one just gonna call it min cell and then the data type is integer again okay so now this is short procedure takes two inputs and the inputs are id and minimum salary and here's the syntax is add sign and then your uh, parameter name so id and then min salary so we have two input parameters and now here what I'm gonna do is I am gonna change our query to use those input parameters so I can say select all from employees where let's see if, if I want to filter based on department ID I can say where department ID is equal to add ID so whatever I, I pass as our ID I'm filtering it based on that ID and then I can say and salary is greater than equal to this parameter so let's just copy it here and paste it here so now this is a little more complex uh, store procedure where we have input parameters you can have one parameters you can have multiple parameters and you can use those parameters to then change your query so here I'm saying I'm selecting everything from my employees table but I have filters here so I'm saying where department ID is equal to whatever ID I passed in my store procedure and then my salary is greater than or equal to this minimum salary that I'm passing okay and then all of this is between your begin and end let's execute this now okay so we just created our second store procedure now to run the store procedure if I just run this EMP2 as is it's gonna fail because we are not providing any input parameters so it's it's saying you like you need those you need to pass the values because it doesn't know what those values are so here there are two ways to run a store procedure with input parameters i can either pass it based on like the position so i can pass like let's say let me execute this now so i can provide like the right values so let's say i want to get department id is five here so i'm gonna pass five for our id and it is even prompting you like what are the input parameters so id we are already passed and then the min minimum salary i'm gonna say 130,000. so what it's gonna do is gonna filter this based on uh, the department id five and then 130,000. so it's gonna it's gonna just return these two here this and this 
based on this okay so let's execute this now okay so we got two results here two rows and if I let's say if I change it to let's say 10,000 it's gonna give me the three records because now the filter is based on this 10,000 so we got this 125,000 as well okay and there is another way of executing store procedures with input parameters so what i can say is so the first way we passed our input parameters is based on the position the first one is the id the second one is the minimum salary what i can also do is i can pass name parameters so i can say at id equals this and then at min cell equals this so i'm just naming the parameters i'm saying id equals this and min salary equals this and if i execute it it's gonna give the same results and here i can also change the order because it's no longer based on the order it's based on the value you're passing the input parameter you're passing the name so if i execute this now it's gonna give the same results here okay if you found this helpful please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you guys have any questions thank you for watching